Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Moto Madness and my opinions about it. I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a cop, I'm just a lay person giving my opinions. So let's take a look at this one, number episode 64. The first thing we'll notice is the individual standing on the rear passenger pegs of his bike leaned awkwardly forward and people standing to the side of the road. I don't get what that's about, but let's have a look. And lady with a bucket standing there like it's a purse. Again, don't know what it's about. Oh, God, this guy's really weird. I'm guessing he's going to do a wheelie, but that's a weird position to take. Of course, this is the easy way to do a wheelie because you put all your weight on the back and it forces it up. But, you know, that's, that's kind of, anyone can do that. <laughs> oh, no, no, he leaves out. Oh, Down we go, down we go. Well, saw that one coming. Lost control, spinning around. Whoa, hit a big piece of bumper there. Got some air too. <laughs> That's amazing. Ooh, and down. That looks like it hurts. And ooh, this rider is lucky. Did not hit anything that caused them to go down. So they lucked out. Well, why is he... It's not the car's fault. They lost control. Anything can happen on the road. You can't really blame them. Other riders up. That's good. They got the bike up. This guy's slow to make his way over. I mean, that's a lot of damage to the front of that vehicle. Window works. What in the world? Who's she texting? It looks like a home screen. Is she just sitting there? She's not calling emergency services? It says Kenya, so there's probably no services available. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, finally. Yeah. Oh, finally. I love the mask usage over there. That's how I feel about it. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, wear it around our neck. Eh. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. You hit that piece of bumper. So there's more investment coming into this area. A new landmark for Liverpool. A new landmark. Yeah, you mean just another fucking set of stupid. Okay, so it's on the left. Oh no, is it on air? Whoa. He's like, oh, hey, sorry. Like, it was pretty obvious that this rider. Newton Flat. Oh, Mark for Liverpool. A new landmark. Yeah, you mean just another. F I mean, it's even on the right side because they drive on the opposite of us in the US. That the driver can clearly see there's a rider here. Set of student flats. Oh no, is it on air? That is crazy. Can tell me. <laughs> and he laughs. It's not it's funny. That. It's funny how the uh, Brits are, man. It's like, let's have tea and crumpets. I would actually be more mad about this than a lot of the videos because you're clearly sitting there. It's not like you're invisible. And he came that close to you before, like, oh, there's somebody there. It's like, do you need an eye exam? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> I love how he like covers the business. I would be giving that to the business and say, hey, I think the guy needs an eye exam. Yeah, all right. <laughs> they come over. I don't understand why you're accelerating. Okay, this car's moving. Let's go back a little bit. All right. <laughs> Okay, this vehicle's there. It's slow. It's probably a 35 zone, I'm guessing. If it was miles per hour, it's Vancouver, though. So whatever that would be in kilometers per hour, they're moving to the right. There's traffic up there. He's going to accelerate. It's city. It's, it's 
you know, that atmosphere of shops and stuff, people are going to change lanes. Some don't use blinkers. It happens. And uh, plenty of room, really. <laughs> Revving's not going to do anything. I've talked about that before. Revving your engine doesn't do anything. They probably didn't even hear that. Well, we're going to be all mad at them. I can't tell. What's her handy here? Oh, she's like saying sorry. Like, so she's she's acknowledging. Uh, knows her right side mirror is in. She probably doesn't know that. Why don't we move that out for her? Or it's broken. It looks like it's hit something. I would have tried to move it out for her. Okay, fast forward uh, riding. Yeah, this is all fast forward. I don't think they're really going that fast. And for whatever reason, they got close to that other bike for no reason. They could see ahead. It's kind of like that truck driver. You could see somebody sitting there. You could see somebody in the lane, but you're coming this close. And then... Oh. And then act shocked about it? That was, that was goofy. Okay, One Way Street, USA. A construction zone with a losing lane. Rider takes off. Don't know if they're together. Gotta show what he has. They get lit up. I don't know why this guy got lit up and not the other guy. Maybe there's more than one cocky. You can't tell. Lane split. Gonna take off. <laughs> and then it cuts there, so it makes you wonder, like, how was the rest of the ride, right? And now we're in Indonesia. Ah! Looks pretty familiar as a third world country to me. I've lived in a few. He doesn't want to go in the water. And they're trying to get around this person pushing their overloaded cart, motorized bicycle cart thing. <laughs> Typical oh, roads here, poor man. condition. Like, he acts surprised. Right, right. That's like normal, like, two seconds of riding on their streets. That's. Not a big deal. To Westerners, though, it's like, oh, wow, oh. you know, it's like, it's not a big deal. Okay. So the police are going to chase him to do the release. Okay. 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 Oh, I didn't let us look at the sign, see where we might be in the world. Oh, so that station wagon was a cop car? Kind of an interesting way to light them up. Oncoming traffic lane. And <laughs> okay. 
okay, what they did was wrong, but it's still funny. <laughs> Kind of stopped. Let's see. Green light. Yeah, no, they didn't stop. It was totally a roll. But, uh, what do the squiggly lines mean over in the UK? Because I, I don't get why there's so many lines on your roads. It seems confusing what, what that means. Please put it in the comment section. I'd like to know. Yeah, well. I'd honk too. Yeah, they, they were wrong, but don't sit there and have teen crumpets in the middle of the uh, roadway go <laughs> okay. I hate I hate ape, ape hangers I think they uh, they don't uh, let you control the motorcycle as well I would run it it's not my life he just kind of swooped over didn't he Yeah, he changes two lanes at once. You're supposed to change one lane at a time. I don't know if he used his blinker or not. Um, I don't think he did. Because his controls are right there. Maybe I missed it. Let's see. Watching his hands. No, he didn't use his blinkers. He just swooped over two things. Okay, what's he going to do that he complains about? What's he going to do? What are you doing? It's too late for that. Too late for what? People are still right about that zone from one lane. People are picking a lane. That's not too late. There's plenty of room there. There's no, that's not late yet. And they put on their blinker to oh, turn too left. Late for that. Too late for what? I don't, I don't uh, follow what Sacramento boy. is uh, talking about it's here. like, no, dude. Oh, we're going to come front. So Sacramento is California. They can lane split. Uh, just go to the front, right? Watch the window down. Let's go! Looks like... You should use a blinker when you come over driving. like that. You put it on way after you came in the lane, and you're on your phone, and you got hella kids in the car. That's right. I will, I will point out that the kid in the front looks way too young. The kid in the back, look how tall their head is, and they just look older from what you can tell there. Uh, they should be swapped positions. <laughs> Very responsible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Quack. Me, huh? Quack. You. So now you're going to cause damage to a vehicle when there was nothing wrong here. This is somebody that shouldn't be out on the, on the roadways riding, and they shouldn't be in public. Mm. Look at that. Look at the poor kid. Now you just scared that little kid over there. Whatever she's doing might be wrong, but now you just have kids that are like gonna look at riders as big evil people, right? So you accomplish nothing, and then you're gonna run. I would probably call the cops and report the plate, right? Just physically hit the car. I don't know if it's broke or not. That's not my job. I have to take a dealer, pay them a. Uh, a couple hundred bucks to probably inspect it to make sure so yeah you know you should be on the hook for that Thank you. and if I was in a car sitting next to you and I saw that happen I would also be taking a picture of the plate and I would be reporting let's see YouTube moto moto Schatzung. Motorcyclist. Twoju mać, blady. Comes up on a person down. Came off 
He's breathing, he's breathing. Why did he grab his leg? How is his pulse? How is the pulse? The pulse is very rapid, he's breathing pulse heavily. Pulse is very rapid, he's breathing heavily. I've got a guy who's, um, uh, he's, not, he's not responding. And he's no responses, there's no responses at all. Buddy? Buddy? Okay, you come upon this, there's already enough people handling the situation. The last thing you need is one more person in the mix that didn't even see what happened, but, you know, getting yourself involved. Buddy, can you? Don't touch Who him. took his Don't helmet off? Well, you're concerned about a helmet, but you're touching his head. Who took the helmet off? Right. Yes, he is. I didn't really understand what he said, but okay. Breathing very rapidly. Can you help me, please? Buddy, buddy, I'm gonna lift your head up a little bit. What are you doing? He goes on about the helmet because, you know, you're not supposed to touch somebody, but yet he's gonna touch somebody and lift his head up. That little bit could be paralyzed this guy. Buddy, this is... buddy, you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Head down there. Okay. You're good, stay down, you're cool, you're cool. Lay down, buddy. See, now you got him awake, and now his adrenaline is going to be going, and now he's going to be moving around. Stay. We go. Stay there. Don't get Stay up. there for one minute. Why? Yeah. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down, buddy. Get involved? Stay. Uh, some people will be like, oh, well, it was nice of him to get involved. There was plenty of people involved. This guy just needed to continue on, but he has a GoPro. He wants to film it. He put it out there, and he, he didn't even blur the guy's face. I mean, come on. Like, I wouldn't want my face out there. Yeah, it's public, and it can be, but... Some respect, stay man. Still. Some respect. Well, you're all good, buddy. Stay still. Stay still. You don't need to. Can be. you feel your arms? Yes. What's your name? Stay. Stay calm, buddy. Buddy. Stay. 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 Don't move. Driver, you've just had an. You've just had an accident. Don't move, buddy. Buddy, don't move. Now. Well, adrenaline. You've just had an accident. Buddy, calm down. Calm down, buddy. Stay down. You might hurt yourself. Don't force him down. Yeah. Of course, I mean, might hurt him by forcing him. If he wants to get up, let him get up. But that's on him. Don't walk. Just stay here. Okay, you sit up. Just stay. You okay? What's your name, buddy? What's your name? Okay, thank you. He's out of it. You're okay, my friend. You're okay. Just relax, okay? We got you. Can you feel your legs, buddy? What's your name? No. Yeah. Talking to him is the correct thing. Now, I'm no expert here, but talking to him, don't move him, don't touch him. Um, you don't need to be involved if you don't have any training, you know, um, other than he's doing it for the GoPro, for the, the, the views for YouTube, because he's YouTube Moto Moto. Come on, UK. Come on. Can you feel your arms? Yeah. See, if I were taking this video, um, I would be blurring out the guy's face, because, come on, respect. Look at this, I mean, this poor guy, if he sees this, he's everywhere. Can you just reassure him and remain just let him know the ambulance is coming? Yeah, he knows, he knows. Yeah, sure. This is the ambulance service, can I speak to one of you? Hello? You basically had a trip. Scoot. This is very odd. The ambulance service needs to have this guy hand his phone to a police officer. Yeah, it says police there by her radio slash phone thing. Um, that's strange. In the U.S., they'd be on the radio. It'll all be through 911. Stay awake, mate. Stay awake. Stay awake. Stay awake. It's all right. It's okay. Uh, no, it's okay. You're okay, buddy. All good, yeah? Yeah, this is mine. This is mine. In the US, I would tell you not to move at all. Buddy, 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 wake up, wake up. Don't pass out, yeah? See, that's proper. Keep them awake, blah, blah, blah. But they were doing that too. They were trying to keep them awake. Yeah, stay with me. Stay with me. Look at me. No, no, stand just, stand just. Okay, stand just. Relax, yeah? Relax. Five minutes of fame here. What's your name? What's your name? Two. Thank You're you. not. We're going to try and get traffic getting through so the ambulance can get through. Yeah, sure. Mate, hey, do you want to put an arm underneath his arm and we will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are they moving him? I mean, I think that's strange. Here in the States, the cops would not move you. They would wait for the ambulance because, well, they're the professionals, right? Liability. Hi, so Merja Arisha. Merja Maisha, boss. So is he a foreigner then? I, I, didn't quite, I didn't quite get that. Okay, so now we're in Africa. 
Police in Africa stop a biker and want money. This is pretty common in Africa. I lived in Lome, Togo. Checkpoints during the day. It's it's how they stop coup d'etats, you know. And it causes shakedowns. Because these guys are not paid that much. They get a nice uniform, but they're not paid much. The stick, he's pointing to pull over, but... There's no one in front. I would have played stupid, stupid Western tourist, and I would have just kind of kept going. Thinking, okay, well, the guy's not, you know, wanting me. He's just pointing. Doesn't mean necessarily me pull over. Bonjour. Uh, uh, ça va. Don't, e don't even try to speak uh, French. Just... You don't even want to associate. You want to act like you don't understand them at all, even if you can. Hello. Ah? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Where are you coming from? Uh, España, Spain. Spain. Oui. To Spain. I crossed to Nigeria today. What do you play for us? Uh, I don't have anything yet. I came. No, don't tell me that. I came. <laughs> don't give me that. Yeah, that's a load of. I came yes. today. I didn't change money. I didn't yes, tell anything. I came. See. I mean, not really true. This guy has to have something. <laughs> yeah, but I, I still didn't change. I, I have my credit card. When I get to Lagos, I take money, but I didn't bring. I came today. <laughs> yeah, somebody wanted to keep going. They will shoot you, too. So, um, But he didn't have any co you know, cops. Uh, military with uh AKs around him at the time so I would have I would have probably just kept going and would they have chased you there was one truck there they may or may not if it's an official and there's another checkpoint they might radio ahead and but I don't know playing dumb works really well in these countries I know I have the great guy Look how trashy it is in the bushes. That, that reminds me of Lome Togo. I mean, that's how it is everywhere there. They just don't care about trash. They really need a campaign to teach people and, and provide provide that. It would be money well worth spent. No, I'm sorry. No, no clothes. No, I'm sorry. I have to go. Money, money, cash. I don't have cash. I, I came from uh, Benin. Benin? Benin? So I didn't have anything. I have to go to Lagos to take. What do you want to plant in Lagos? Your family there, yeah? In Spain, my family. What do you want to do in Lagos? I just transit. I go to Cameroon, Gabon, Congo, all the way to South Africa. That's along the road. Yeah, along Africa. Yeah. In the world. What? So this guy comes up. What? No, what now? Uh, informatic in Spain. Computer. You know? Com See, I wouldn't even got any details like that. They, there's no way for them to look what you do for work. I'd just be like, I, I would actually lie and say, I lost my job. I have no money. I have very little money. I have to go to the bank, get some money, but I'm riding this motorcycle around Africa. I lost my job. Put a uh, informatic with the computer and the click click. You have family in Spain? No, I, my family is in Spain. Yeah, like why? Why do you want to come here? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people don't understand uh, venture riders. Um, yeah, why? Why would you want to go there? I don't know. I live there. It's okay. Will I ever go back? Probably not. Okay, I think I have to go. Yeah. What time? Is this time is good here. Three thirty-seven. Okay, it's good. Okay, I think I have to go there, and I I hang it. Thank you very much. Togo, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, all those countries, they're all, they're all basically the same. You've been to one, you've been to them all. Good night. <laughs> yeah, they'll ask you. Pues aquí sí que me han parado y me han pedido pasta. Bueno, me han pedido que, que tengo para ellos. Y bueno, de momento me voy librando, pero de supongo que llegará el momento en el que no me dejen seguir o me quiten la cámara o la liemos. Pero... They usually don't really want to mess with you in that regard. They just want, they're just used to shaking down people. That's how they make extra money. You can't really blame them. If you actually gave them like a buck, they'd be like, oh, you know, 
It's amazing. Pero siempre te piden que les des algo, que no se creen el rollo de que no llevas nada encima, que les tienes que contar la historieta y... But they'll shake down anyone, you know, you're driving a decent car, and you're a government official or have diplomatic tags, they're, they're gonna stop you. Son un poco pesados, no deja de ser así, que un tío con una metralleta te esté pidiendo dinero, regalos, relojes o... Okay, you're going at a speed that he wants to go faster, but you don't want to go that speed. But he passes, so now you're going to speed up. Now you're going to speed up. Why get mad? Just let him go. Never park in front of a vehicle like that you have an altercation with. Uh, what if they decide just to go? They're, they're plowing through your bike. And possibly you. What are you doing? You're fing stupid. His hands hit him. Listen, dude. Then fing stop. Jesus. Okay, this has to be fake. I mean, this is ridiculous. Jesus Christ! Get on your fucking bike and get out of Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is a fucking. Sorry. <laughs>